Hi everyone, I am Jedmark ARCO from Basecamp 1B. In this video, I am going to share what I have replaced about the speech of Sherry Torkoal entitled Alone Together. Technology has had a significant impact on our lives. We are totally reliant on technology. We use it all of the time. When our phones were left at home, we would panic and rush back home to retrieve them. Connected but alone, by Sherry Tarkal discuss how technology has influenced our lives in terms of com of communication. Since the development of technology, our interaction with other have changed. People prefer to communicate with, with one another through texting or messaging. When we feel lonely, technology has always been there for us. We do not believe, however, that technology has made us lonely. We will be lonelier if we do not have the capacity to be alone, according to Torkoal. Our techniques of communication with one another have been corrupted by technology. I used to believe that technology had wrecked our ability to communicate with one another. When a group of individuals goes out, you'll, you'll notice that they're more likely to be on their phones than to be there with one another. There's even a term for it, pubbing which combines the word phone and snubbing. It is increasingly common to observe a group of individuals using their phones instead of chatting to one another. People today prefer texting and messaging to chatting with one another, as opposed to talking with one another in the past. People who text a lot are more likely to be awkward in social situations. Texting or messaging is merely a form of superficial communication. Those who text or message are unlikely to have meaningful discussions. I agree that Texting and messaging are merely superficial form of communication. When I want to talk to someone about some things, something, I prefer real life discussion to texting because you can tell whether they are listening or not when you are talking to them in person. Technology has made us reliant. We expect we expect someone or something to be there for us at all time. We get anxiety whenever we are alone. We tend to go to other people and ask and use them to get rid of our worried feelings. We are not grateful for their existence. Being alone and loneliness are not the same thing. We often mix them up. I'm one of the those, and I'm one of those people who seek out out other people because I don't want to be, be alone. We must, however, be prepared to cope with the capacity of being alone. We are always diverted from our lives and can never be to, totally present in them. One of our lives' distraction is technology. We need to be fully present in our experience and in the real world to be able to handle being alone. We're lonely but we're afraid of intimacy. Says one character in the video, I agree that we are weary of becoming too close to others. We are terrified of becoming intimate with, uh, with others for a, var a variety of reasons. However, this is one factor to which I believe all others can relate. We have all experienced the pain of losing someone and do not want to go through it again. We also hide our genuine selves from others because we are terrified of what they might think, think of us. We must accept ourselves and show them our real selves in, in order to be less fearful of connecting with others. It is obvious that technology has had a significant impact on our lives. Connected but alone, 
by Sherry Tarkles was a fantastic talk. She truly described and dis demonstrated how technology has influenced our communication methods. Even though technology has impacted our ability to communicate with one another, let us continue to have excellent and meaningful conversation with one another. Also, let us not be reliant on technology. We need to be able to enjoy isolation within ourselves since technology will not always be there for us. That's all. Thank you.